In this lecture, let's learn how to install Bootstrap for our React application. But before that, let me first remove this statement from here. We don't need it. And since we are not using that statement, let's also remove this import statement from here. Let's go to app.js. And here, we are no more using this message variable. So let's remove that as well. Let's save the changes. Now, to install Bootstrap, let's first go to Terminal and let's open a new terminal. And here, we can type the npm command, npm install, and here we want to install Bootstrap. Let's press enter and it will start installing Bootstrap for this React project. Alright, so Bootstrap has been installed and to check that we can go to this node modules folder and if we scroll down here, we can see this Bootstrap folder. If we expand this, inside this Bootstrap folder, we have this distribution folder. If we expand this, we have this CSS folder. And inside that, we should have bootstrap.min.css and bootstrap.css. So in order to use Bootstrap in React, we need to import bootstrap.css or bootstrap.min.css. And we need to import it in index.js file. So let's do that. Here, let's use this import statement. And we want to import bootstrap from this bootstrap folder. There, we have this dist folder. Inside that, we have CSS folder. And inside that, we have bootstrap.css. And this should be it. If we save the changes and if we go to the web page, you will notice that the font of this React application has changed. So, bootstrap has been applied here. All right, now what we want is, we want to design this product list. So basically, we want to add some bootstrap classes on these HTML elements. And in order to save some time, I have already added bootstrap classes on that HTML. So let's copy it from here. And this HTML is same as this HTML which we have here. The only difference is now on this HTML, we have the bootstrap classes added. Let's remove these comments from here. And also, if you remember, instead of using this class, we need to use class name. Let's replace this class name for each occurrence of this class. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And this is how our product now looks like. Let's do some more modification. Let's go back to VS Code. And let's go to app.js and let's do one thing. Let's wrap this product tag within a div. So for that, let's first use a set of parentheses like this. And inside that, let's use a div. And let's cut this product tag from here and let's move it inside this div. And on this div, I want to use a class name which is row. All right. Now, within this div, I want to have another div. Okay. And let's move this product tag inside this second div. So I will cut it from here and I will move it inside this div. And on this inner div also, let's add some bootstrap class. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And now our product looks good. What I also want to do is I want to add some CSS styles globally. Okay, so I want to add some CSS styles which will be applied for the whole application. For that, what I'm going to do is inside this source folder, I'm going to create a new file and I will call this file index.css. And inside this index.css, we will add the CSS styles which we want to apply globally. Again, in order to save some time, I have already written that CSS, so I will grab it from here. 
and I will add it inside this index.css. And again, we need to import this index.css inside this index.js. So let's save this file. Let's go to index.js and let's go ahead and let's import index.css inside this index.js. So we want to import index.css. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And now the body of this web application has also been designed. Now for this body, let's also add some padding top. So here, let's say padding top, maybe 20 pixel. Save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And now we have some padding here. All right. So in this lecture, you learned how to install Bootstrap and how to use it in your React application.